Now, millions of French voters have been going to the polls in the final round of the country's parliamentary elections where President Macron is fighting to hold on to his centrist majority. Mr Macron already won a second term in office in April, beating off a challenge from the far right Marine Le Pen. But this election is about control of the National Assembly and it's come down to a close fight between his centrist group and an alliance of left-wing and green parties. Well, joining me now, is Annabelle Lever, who is a professor in political science at the Science Po University in Paris. Professor Lever, what could these results mean for President Macron? Well, it's quite likely that he's not going to have a majority. Um, at the moment, it's not clear whether or not um, France Insoumise will, will actually have a majority itself. But most probably, it looks like Macron's going to have um, a a divided parliament in which he's the largest group, but in which he lacks an absolute majority. And so he's going to have to compromise with the other groups in order to get things through. And these groups are a left-green alliance. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? How has that come about? Well, after the presidential elections, uh, Mélenchon, who's the head of France Insoumise, um, France Unbowed, it's called, um, set about trying to create the alliance of leftist groups that he hadn't been able to create before the elections, the presidential elections. And so it's made up of the Greens, France Insoumise, which is the biggest party, the Socialists, which are no, no longer very large, and the Communists, who are even smaller. But it's a, it's a broad coalition of the left, basically. And they're they formed just after the presidential elections. And so far, they look set to be the major opposition and possibly, but unlikely, the, the largest parliamentary group. If that happens then, could Mélenchon be prime minister? And what would that mean for any agenda that President Macron wants to put through? That's going to be difficult, isn't it? Yes, I mean, it's obviously, if Mélenchon becomes... Um, Prime Minister, life will be very, very difficult for Macron. Um, Mélenchon isn't himself standing for Parliament this time, so he'd be a Prime Minister but not head of the party of the new in Parliament. But yes, obviously, even without being Prime Minister, he's in a position to cause a lot of trouble for Macron. And if indeed his party is the biggest and he's able to become Prime Minister, then really Macron's in trouble. The one thing that's worth remembering is that if he's the, well, and this is really quite likely, the head of the opposition, the largest opposition gets to control the budget or it has a position, special position in parliament over the budget. So even so, even if he doesn't get an absolute majority, Mélenchon is well set to have a remarkable hold on power for the next few years. In terms of Macron, there's already been uh, results out of Guadeloupe that haven't gone his way. Um, a minister is probably going to have to resign. What will that mean, members of his cabinet going? Well, I'm, I'm not really sure how serious it is that he lost this particular minister. I mean, it's not good to lose any of your ministers, to be honest, but I'm not sure that this one would be quite as catastrophic as losing the Minister of the Interior or Elizabeth Bourne or someone like that. But clearly he hasn't done well in France Outre-mer or in the French um, dependencies, I suppose they are. Um, it was a close-run thing, but the Noops, the left-wing coalition, really managed to improve their standing over the first round. And clearly Macron had nothing, Macron's party or coalition had nothing to offer. And just finally and briefly, Macron can't run again. So what does this mean for French politics in the future? Well, I don't know. I mean, between now and the next five years, next presidential election, it's a lot of time. You never know what's going to happen. But clearly, there's, a lot, there's going to be a lot of jockeying for a position. Um, clearly, partly, it's going to be whether or not Philippe is able to develop his own party, his own brand, while staying part of the coalition he's currently with, with Macron. And presumably there are going to be other people within the party or the co within Macron's own party, En Marche, also within the broader coalition. 
who are going to be jockeying for position two. So, yeah, for those who are interested in politics, it's going to be an exciting time. Indeed. Thank you very much, Professor Lever uh, from Paris there. Thank you.